Now to spell check your worksheet, come up here, click on the Review tab, go to the Proofing group, and click on Spelling. Or you can see in the pop-up, the shortcut key is F7. When you click on it, it opens up the spell check window. And let me click and drag the uh, title bar of the window so I can move the window out of the way. And you can see that it says Dreamforce isn't in the dictionary. And it gives me suggestions down below saying, hey, you should break it up, Dream Space Force. If I don't want to do that, but I want to add it to the dictionary so it no longer sees it as a misspelled word, click on Add to Dictionary, and then it goes to the next cell that has a misspelled word, which is Ebuary. And here's some suggestions. Ooh, Briary. I like that. I'll have to look that up. So go ahead and select what it needs to be, in this case February, and click Change. And then when it's done, okie dokie, and we're good. Now, if you accidentally made a mistake and you added this to the dictionary, Dreamforce is one word and you want it to be two separate words, then to go ahead and to customize that and get it out of the dictionary. So when you hit F7 on the keyboard to do a spell check, it'll bring it up and say, okay, this is misspelled. Go ahead and close out. Click on the File tab. Go backstage to Options and choose Proofing. Come down here to Custom Dictionaries and select the default. Click Edit. And you can see that my name is misspelled quite a bit, so I added it there. And then Dreamforce, go ahead and select it, delete it. Of course, you can go ahead and add Dreamforce again if you want, and click Add. But let's go ahead and select it, delete it, click Okie Dokie, click Okie Dokie, and OK. And then go ahead and hit F7. And it says, look, you're right here. Do you want to go back to the beginning and check the rest that's above? Because wherever you're at, it spell checks it from that point down. And so we need to go back up and say yes. And because Dreamforce isn't in the dictionary, it sees it as misspelled. So again, I can add it or just ignore it once and not have to worry about it and be done with it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.